Today in our Tools for Making Dollhouse Miniatures video, we are going to discuss the clay extruder. So stay tuned and see how to use this and why to use it. All right, if, you've, if you're a long time viewer of my channel, you've seen this tool before. This is my clay extruder. Uh, mine's made by Walnut Hollow. There's a couple of different brands of these out on the market. Uh, let's take it out of the box and I'll show you a few things to look for when you're shopping. The main thing is look for one that has a handle that turns like this. There's another version that has a plunger that you're supposed to push through those are really, really hard to use. This one is actually fairly easy to use. So you take the cap off, the little ring off here, and you have a tube. I like to take this off actually most of the time. The only reason I keep it on there is to, because uh, it fits in the container better, and that way I can remember what brand I've got. So I'm gonna back up this plunger, turn the handle, and back this up with the crank, and that pulls this little pusher, the little plunger up. Now our next step is to pick which disc we're going to put in the end of our clay extruder. I'm going to show you a couple of them and what I would use those things for. So let's do those and let's do one like this. And there's a lot of other things you can use these for, not just what I'm going to show you. So let's start with the one with all the little holes. Uh, if you've seen my old spaghetti video on this um, for dollhouse miniatures, you've seen this particular one. I'm pretty sure this is the one I used. This is just some scrap clay. It's actually some um, uh, Sculpey original, original Sculpey. I like to keep that on hand for doing projects where I need to try things out. And it's also really handy when you want to use the extruder you need a very soft clay. So really well conditioned. If your clay is a little bit on the hard side, go ahead and add some um, translucent clay, which tends to be softer, or mix it with a brand that is softer. Okay, screw that on. Then all you have to do is turn the plunger, turn the crank on the top. It pushes the plunger down. And I'm going the wrong way. Turn it the correct way. Duh. How to look professional. There we go. It still takes some effort. It doesn't come out all on its own or anything, but it's much easier than doing it with the plunger style. And there we have little tiny like snakes of clay that are all the same size. Um, they're going to be consistent in size and easy to work with. You can use those for spaghetti, you can use those to make other projects. Take the thing off, the, the ring off, take out the disc. I'm going to back this up just a little more. just a little more clay in and we'll try another disc. Now don't leave your clay in the extruder for any length of time because if you do it's going to turn black. It will discolor it. Let's use this one. Let's get the clay out of this crevice at the end. You need something like a knitting needle or a toothpick, something to help keep it clean down there. Screw the cap on. Yeah, this time we're going to go the right way. And now you've got a very consistent dimension of strip of clay. 
And you see what I mean by it discolors, light colors? It's best to use darker colors in here. But you can use that for a lot, that shape for a lot of crafting. Let's take this off and try this last one really quickly. And in the tips and video this month, I will be showing you how to clean the clay extruder too. A few tips on that. Back this up. Now we're going to use this little trefoil shape. What the heck was that? Put that in here. This is a little out of scale for dollhouse miniatures, but it's still a fun one. Hope I have enough clay to get a rope coming out of it. Alright, cut that off. Now you could use this just the way it is, but you can also twist it and make a really heavy rope. So that's another fun little bit there. So that is our clay extruder. Uh, like I said, make sure you take your clay out right away because the lighter the color clay, the more discoloration you're going to have. Be sure and clean it out after every use to make it last longer. And, oh, and you probably want to wait for a coupon at Michael's or wherever you buy it because these do tend to be a little on the pricey side, but they are really, really useful. So I hope you found this video to be useful. Check the blog post for more of my thoughts on the tool, and I will talk to you later. Bye.